And a big warm welcome to John and Amin. Great to have you both here. I know we're talking about a very important topic, rare earth elements. And for those who may not be familiar, help us understand what is a rare earth element. Rare earth elements, including 15 lanthanides, yttrium, and scandium, are critical materials due to their unique magnetic, phosphorescent, uh, and catalytic properties. Rare earth elements are necessary components of various advanced technology, such as batteries, catalysts, and magnets, and play a crucial role in energy security, economic growth, and environmental sustainability. They are known as rare, not because they are ex uh, exceptionally uncommon, but because they are uh, uh, dispersed in the Earth's uh, crust at low concentration and are rarely found as a uh, concentrated uh, ore deposit that can be economically extractable using conventional mineral processing method. The growing demand for advancing technologies uh, made from rare earth elements is predicted to reach $2.5 trillion worldwide by 2030. And um, the U.S currently rely heavily on foreign sources for these elements. Uh, usually they are mined by digging vast open pits uh, in the ground. Uh, when poorly regulated, mining uh, can produce wastewater ponds filled with acids, heavy metals, and radioactive material that uh, might lead to uh, into uh, groundwater. Okay, so rare earth elements, obviously something that we rely greatly on for technology and batteries, as you had mentioned. So very high demand, but hard to find, and the way that we're extracting it causing real big environmental impacts, which is a big challenge. I know we've heard about this a lot, especially in the news. So how is U of I working to solve this issue? Uh, my research group, uh, in collaboration with Idaho Strategic Resources, Idaho Geological uh, Survey, and Idaho National Lab, is working to develop environmental friendly methods uh, such as phyto mining and bio leaching for extracting rare earth elements from Idaho source mineral. mineral. Uh, the goal is to produce rare earth uh, metal and reduce dependence on foreign countries for these critical materials used in various high tech applications. That's absolutely yeah. fascinating. Is that something that we're doing right here in Idaho? Yes, right now we are, have, uh, we are working on it and we have done research for almost two years, over two years. And John, you're here representing the Department of Energy, the DOE. So tell us about how the DOE is working with groups in Idaho to address these challenges. Well, one of the things uh, that most folks don't realize is that Idaho has one of the best mineral endowments for rare earth elements of almost anywhere in the world. So, wow. you know, from our from a, say a potential deposit perspective, Idaho is right up there ranking, ranks pretty high with a lot of other even countries. You know, we all live here in Idaho, we work here in Idaho, we raise our families in Idaho, and we're, we're as much or more um, concerned about doing the extraction and separation of rare earth elements, probably as much or more than anybody. So, you know, if somebody's gonna come into the state of Idaho, you know, there's a lot of folks in Idaho that are that are focused on doing this right. A means group at U of I, Idaho National Labs, Idaho Geologic Survey, our company, our senators, our congressmen. You know, it's not the mining of a hundred years ago. It's it's a very modern kind of approach. And then, um, what's next when it comes to research? So, ongoing research aimed to improve the efficiency and cost effectiveness of these sustainable extraction methods. Collaboration with Idaho companies, national labs, Idaho Geological Survey, as well as larger companies like General Electric are pursued to identify areas for sampling, extraction, and to understand the broader supply chain implications. Uh, there is also some potential that sustainable method developed in this project could be applied to recycling rare earth elements from old electronic, consum consumer electronics like cell phones, laptops, uh, contributing to more uh, circular and environmentally conscious approach to these critical materials. I love that. I'm so glad you pointed that out there. Environmentally conscious approaches to this whole challenge. Where can people go to learn more about the research that U of I is doing, about the partnerships with the DOE and everything that's happening here in our state to uh, make sure that we're able to have rare earth elements because we rely so heavily on them as consumers, but make sure that we're doing it in a very responsible way. If you are interested to learn more, you can check uh, my research group website, um, RSML research group website at the University of Idaho. You can also check uh, Idaho Strategic Resources, uh, Resources website and uh, Department of Energy Phyto Mining Programs. So you can learn more about those methods. 
Wonderful. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Greatly appreciate you shining some light here on our involvement uh, as the state of Idaho when it comes to rare earth elements. Thank you so much.